This video will teach you how to add support for ESP8266 microcontrollers to the Arduino IDE. This will allow you to compile Arduino code for boards based on the ESP family of microcontrollers, such as the popular Wemos D1 Mini. In order to complete this tutorial, we will need a board with a compatible ESP microcontroller, and a USB cable to connect it to our computer. I would recommend the Wemos D1 Mini. Check out the link in the description, or scan the QR code on the screen. You may also need to install a serial to USB driver. Many Wemos D1 Mini boards use the CH340 chip to add USB capabilities to the ESP microcontroller. If your board does not show up when you connect it to USB, try the USB to serial driver linked in the description. Lastly, you will also need the Arduino IDE. You can download this for free from the Arduino website, see the link in the description. Now we are ready to begin. Open the Arduino IDE, and navigate to the Preferences menu. On the Settings tab, locate the Additional Boards Manager URLs section, then add the following URL. Pro Tip if you need to add multiple URLs, click the small icon to the right-hand side of the text box. Next, from the Tools menu, open the Boards Manager. Search for the ESP8266 package and install it. Once installed, close the Board Manager. Now the ESP8266 boards should be available to select from the Board menu. Select the Wemos D1 Mini from the menu. Next, we need to select the board's port from the port menu. For Windows users, you will need to choose the COM port that corresponds to your board. For Mac and Linux users, this will most likely be the USB serial option as shown. If the port for your board is not shown, you may need to install one of the drivers mentioned earlier. Now we are ready to test the ESP8266 board with Arduino. Go ahead and open the Blink example. Next, build and upload the sketch. If everything has been set up correctly, the sketch should run, causing the LED on your Wemos D1 Mini to blink. Congratulations! You have successfully set up Arduino for ESP8266 boards. Check out the full article to learn how to connect the ESP8266 board to Wi-Fi. Visit scitech.com forward slash setup ESP.